So Paul, uh, thanks for meeting me here at the barracks. I've never yeah, been here, no so it's yeah, good me excuse too. to come. Me yeah, too. I never have. So. Where's your usual skate spot? I got me a, a little warehouse in uh, Canoga Park, and uh, usually during the week I'm there. On the weekends okay. I'm just all over LA. Sometimes out here in downtown, or just wherever the spot we decided to skate that day. Did you ever think that, like, when you started skating, you just have your own facility skate park? No, but th that was pretty much when I first started. That was like my only dream. Like, I didn't really? care about getting sponsored. I just wanted my own skate park. So finally, after you know another like, ten years, it finally came true. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> it's nothing like this. It's just like a little, a couple hubbas, a little rail, and, and friends of I built a little box manual pad. It's oh, pretty okay. backyard yeah, style, yeah. but it's super fun. Like every uh -huh. sponsor that needs to do a photo shoot, they set it up to go to the warehouse. Yeah, so yeah. It works good. So what, what got you into skating? I got to junior high and there was all kind of different cliques and the skaters is what I attracted to. I just seen them skating outside. I just thought it was super interesting. And then uh, I would just ask him, hey, can I try it? Can I ride on it and see uh -huh. if I can do anything? And I was stoked. For Christmas, I just told everyone, just, you know, give me 20 bucks or whatever. So from all my family, I just got some money and bought a skateboard, and I was stoked. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's how you got your first board? Yeah, that's how I got my first board. That's and then cool. I just. I remember, uh, you know, around mid 90s, I could hear rumblings about you. They're like, yeah, you know. Paul Rodriguez, this kid is awesome. Sorry. You know Paul, and I was like, Paul Rodriguez is a comedian. I'm like, no, no, it's his kid. I go, it's really his son. He like, yeah, it's his son. I'm telling you, he's, he's insane. And then nice, the first time I nice. saw you, you were already established for the most part. But at that time, not a lot of newcomers were coming in, and yeah. for someone to come in and make a, you know, make an impact like that, that was a big deal. Around 2000, 2001, 2003, like all of a sudden, all kind of young kids were just. Oh, coming up and it was just yeah. it was crazy so like yeah I guess you're right I wonder what would have happened had I came in that same time time slot if I would have been able to do as well but like, yeah. you know you definitely have the commitment and the talent so I think you would have risen above maybe just not as quickly but I mean think about that you know when you started skating it's hard to put in perspective but when you started skating like I had sort of gone through a career as a pro and, and was just surviving through the, the dead times. Uh -huh. right? Now you got a Maloof Money Cup and win 100 grand. Yeah, man. That's just unbelievable it's crazy. to me. Yeah, you're right. Like how skateboarding has evolved just since, you know, 98 till now. Skating's getting big. It's cool. I like it, you know. Being yeah. a skater, I know that it's one of the hardest things ever. So, you know, like I think we deserve as much respect as basketball player, football yeah. player, baseball player because you know it's a real difficult thing to do. At, at what point did you realize that this is actually a career and that you might have to work at it? 16, 17 is when I started thinking like okay you know I want to make this work like for a long period of time and actually you know make a living off of it. I hooked up with an agent at that point and just started kind of just trying to figure out deals to you know to survive and live off because you know seeing my father in the entertainment world and doing well like I knew in my heart like I wanted to do well financially as well so I decided just to pay a little more attention to it. And... <laughs> Do you remember a turning point when your dad finally embraced skating as a career? Yeah, when I got in your game. Uh, no way. Yeah, when I got in your game and I told him, <laughs> Dad, I'm in a video game. He's like, and he saw it. He saw it. He's, then he realized, okay, you know, video games, there's got to be some, you know, he's going to be all right in this, you know. And, and then I started showing him, you know, me in the magazines and everything. And from there, he was, he started like following me and now he like keeps up with the contest he'll call me hey i saw you did well in the contest congrats or whatever so oh, that's awesome you started a, a shop right a retail yeah store. man i started a shop it's called primitive uh it's just like a cool boutique kind of like limited sneakers streetwear type mostly type shoes stuff. though mostly shoes i'd say like 60 70 percent shoes 30 40 percent clothing so what's the most expensive pair of shoes in the shop right now i'd say we have the what the dunk that we are gonna hold on to probably until someone offers like about three thousand. Oh my! God. So, <laughs> yeah, just one size because they were super, super limited. So we have them on display right now until somebody makes the right offer. All right, well, Paul, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Right. Wow. Thanks for and, having uh, me. Yeah, thanks for for meeting us here and, and doing some skating. It was fun. I, I never get to really 
get my street on, so to speak. So it was fun to come here and cruise a little bit. Come down, I'll get you on the vert ramp. Cool. Yeah. I need to learn for real.